When Elon Musk announced a new battery capable of charging in just 10 minutes, many thought it was an exaggeration. But it didn't take long for the industry to realize it wasn't just a marketing ploy. Tesla's aluminum ion battery is closer to reality than anyone imagined. And the stakes go far beyond recharge time. We're talking about a technology that promises to last up to 27 years, withstand extreme temperatures, and cut production costs by up to 75%. And all this without relying on the highly sought-after Chinese lithium. If this is delivered as promised, the game will change completely. The first thing that catches your eye is the ability to fully charge in record time. While lithium batteries still require patience, 30, 40, sometimes 60 minutes on a fast charger, Tesla's new offering delivers full power in a coffee break. This agility isn't just a matter of convenience. It redefines the electric car experience. Range anxiety, one of the biggest obstacles to mass adoption, virtually disappears when you know a full charge can be completed in less time than it takes to order a snack. But it's not just about speed. Durability is another game changer. A traditional battery typically begins to lose efficiency after about 2,000 recharge cycles, which equates to about 8 to 10 years of moderate use. Tesla's aluminum ion battery, however, is designed to withstand over 15,000 cycles while maintaining nearly 100% capacity. This means the most expensive component of an electric car can last longer than the vehicle itself, and this completely changes the cost-benefit for the consumer. Now, imagine combining this durability with a production cost up to 75%. It's no exaggeration. Aluminum is more abundant, cheaper, and easier to recycle than lithium. While lithium refining relies on expensive processes and infrastructure concentrated in a few countries, aluminum is already mined on a global scale and can be reused with virtually no loss. This paves the way for a new generation of truly affordable electric vehicles without relying on subsidies or tax incentives to offset high prices. The battery architecture is also innovative. It's a hybrid structure where a layer of aluminum ions ensures constant energy delivery, like a marathon runner maintaining their pace, while a layer of supercapacitors kicks in at peak moments, such as a sprint or sudden braking. This combination ensures not only efficiency, but also performance, something that has always been a headache when trying to balance power and range in electric vehicles. Another impressive feature is its resilience to extreme temperatures. While lithium batteries operate safely only in a range between 20 detritus and 30 detritus, requiring sophisticated cooling or heating systems, Tesla's aluminum battery works perfectly from 50 detritus to 150 detritus. This means it can operate in polar regions or scorching deserts with equal efficiency without compromising performance or safety. And best of all, it doesn't require additional components that increase the vehicle's weight and cost. This thermal resistance also means less wear and tear on the car's electronic systems. With the battery operating under ample conditions, other components also experience less stress. This helps reduce failures, increase overall lifespan, and simplify vehicle design. It's a cascading effect that extends from energy efficiency to maintenance, including production savings and increased driver reliability. The choice of aluminum as the main element of this new generation of batteries is also a strategic move. In a geopolitical scenario where lithium has become an economic weapon, Tesla positions itself independently. The largest lithium producers and refiners are concentrated in China and a few other countries while aluminum is abundant and widely distributed, the U.S. alone produces over 1. 7 million tons per year. And best of all, 95% of this material can be recycled infinitely, reinforcing the concept of a circular economy. With all this, Tesla is moving away from its dependence on a fragile global supply chain and gaining control over more stages of its energy production this not only reduces costs and increases industrial autonomy, but also positions the company as an even more disruptive force within the global energy transition. 
With this battery, the Model 2 is no longer just a cheap car and becomes a symbol of technological independence and a break with traditional models. Amidst so many futuristic promises in the world of electric cars, there's a tiny detail that might go unnoticed, but that's changing everything from the inside. While most manufacturers are still trying to extract more efficiency from lithium-ion batteries, Tesla has decided to explore an almost microscopic territory. Graphene quantum dots, complicated name, powerful function. These particles, smaller than a virus, are the silent heart of the new aluminum ion battery. And even though they're invisible to the naked eye, they have the power to redefine everything we know about durability, safety, and recharge speed. The main function of these graphene dots is to prevent the formation of dendrites, needle-like structures that grow inside lithium batteries over time, eventually causing short circuits or loss of capacity. However, graphene quantum dots don't do this randomly. They are strategically placed in two layers of the battery, the aluminum anode structure and the separation layer. This creates a kind of microscopic highway, guiding electrons precisely and preventing them from damaging the internal system. The practical result of this tiny engineering is a dramatic increase in energy efficiency. In numbers, tests have shown a reduction of up to 95% in the battery's internal electrical resistance. This means less energy is wasted as heat and more goes directly to the wheels. In other words, the car runs further with less effort. Furthermore, this gain is also reflected in recharge time. It's because of this efficiency that Tesla's aluminum battery can be charged up to 10 times faster than traditional lithium batteries. And the most impressive thing is how many graphene quantum dots are needed to achieve all this. We're talking about just own Gramper battery, the equivalent of a grain of rice. This alone is enough to transform the performance of an entire car. The material's lightness, combined with its high electrical conductivity, makes the system not only more efficient, but also cheaper and easier to produce on an industrial scale. A silent revolution happening at the nanoscale. Unlike other promising innovations that languish in laboratories for years, this one is already being tested in real-world prototypes. Tesla has validated the use of graphene quantum dots in road conditions, meaning they're not only viable, but also scalable. This puts the company miles ahead of its competitors, who still face challenges integrating this type of technology into their production lines. While some are writing scientific papers, Tesla is already thinking about delivery and assembly logistics by 2026. Another relevant point is that the application of this technology is not limited to the Model 2. Because it is based on a modular structure, graphene quantum dots can be adapted to batteries of different sizes and capacities. This opens up a range of possibilities, from electric scooters to autonomous trucks. The technological foundation is already in place, and the rest is now just a matter of scaling and application. In other words, the potential impact goes far beyond a single car model. This approach also answers an old industry question. How can batteries charge faster without overheating? The secret lies precisely in quantum dots, which help dissipate heat more evenly and safely, avoiding the fire risks that have already alarmed many consumers. It's as if the system has invisible sensors that know exactly where the energy should flow making the entire process safer, even with ultra-fast charging. And there's more. Graphene quantum dots also increase useful life of the battery, precisely because they prevent internal short circuits and premature wear. This means fewer replacements, less maintenance, and, of course, more confidence for drivers. After all, no one wants to invest in an electric car and have to replace the most expensive component after just a few years. With this technology, the idea is for the battery to last as long as, or even longer than, the vehicle itself. Ultimately, graphene quantum dots are like that secret ingredient no one understands, but which changes the flavor of the entire recipe. Too small to be seen, 
but large enough to truly revolutionize how we understand, produce, and use energy in electric vehicles. And if this revolution has already begun, what else might be hidden, waiting to be discovered inside Tesla's next-generation batteries? Imagine a car that knows you better than any app on your phone. That senses your stress before you even accelerate. That adjusts its driving mode based on your mood. It sounds like science fiction, but that's exactly what Tesla is about to deliver with its Chip.2 QNP1, integrated into the Model 2. This small intelligence center not only improves battery performance, but also transforms the driving experience into something almost personal. And most intriguingly, all of this happens silently, behind the dashboard, without the driver needing to press a single button. The QNP1 is a quantum neural processor designed in-house by Tesla. It sits just below the Model 2's center console, in direct contact with the car's biometric sensors and energy management system. Its close proximity to these systems allows for seamless information exchange, real-time, with near-zero latency. This means that when it senses changes in your behavior, such as your hands tightening on the steering wheel or your pupils dilating, the car responds immediately, without delay. And these responses aren't just visual or audible. They affect how the car moves, accelerates, brakes, and even recharges. But how exactly does this affect the battery? Simple. The QNP1 predicts your driving patterns with up to 85% accuracy based on root history, eye movement, muscle tension, and even facial expressions. With this information, the system can automatically switch between charging and discharging modes, protecting the battery during stressful times and taking advantage of calm periods to recharge more efficiently. The result is a gain in 25% in energy efficiency and a reduction of up to 30% battery wear over time. The practical impact is easy to visualize. While a typical car offers between 500 and 800 charge cycles before starting to lose capacity, the Model 2 with QNP1 promises to exceed 1500 cycles while maintaining near original performance. This doubles the battery's lifespan without requiring new materials or physical changes to the cell pack. It all happens through software, intelligence, and adaptation. Tesla has successfully transformed biometric data in energy advantage. And it doesn't stop there. The QNP1 also controls what Tesla calls biometric adaptive performance. In other words, the car changes its behavior according to your emotional state. Are you relaxed? The suspension becomes smoother, the accelerator responds gently, and the interior lighting emits softer tones. Are you tense or irritated? The car automatically stiffens the steering, sharpens the throttle response, and illuminates the dashboard with more vibrant colors. All this without any controls, menus, or manual settings. This experience is completely different from the sport or comfort modes of conventional cars. Here, the vehicle feel you and this sense of connection transforms what was once a predictable machine into an intelligent extension of the driver. For daily drivers, this means less fatigue, more safety, and an emotional involvement with the car that surpasses the ordinary. It's like having an invisible co-pilot who knows exactly what you need at any given moment. Additionally, the QNP1 interacts with the Model 2's charging system in a personalized way. For example, if the chip senses the driver is in a hurry, based on body signals or driving patterns, it prepares the battery for a more intense charge. In quieter moments, the chip opts for slower, safer charging, preserving the health of the cells. This means fast charging only happens when it is really needed, avoiding the constant wear and tear that usually affects common batteries. The integration between the electronic brain and the human body also has positive effects on safety. In cases of extreme stress or severe fatigue, the car can soften controls, issue alerts, or even adapt trajectories based on learned patterns. This ability to predict and correct errors before they even happen 
It's something that puts the Model 2 on a new level of vehicle intelligence. It's not just an electric car, it's a sentient, almost empathetic machine. The QNP1 isn't just another chip, it represents Tesla's definitive entry into a field that blends neurotechnology, artificial intelligence, and automotive engineering. And by integrating all of this into an entry-level car, like the Model 2, Elon Musk makes it clear that the future of mobility isn't just electric. It's adaptive, intuitive, and deeply human. And if a car can already understand so much about you, what else will it be able to learn in the coming years? At first glance, the Model 2 looks like just an affordable electric car, small, cheap, and efficient. But look beyond the minimalist design to realize that Elon Musk has much bigger plans than selling a mass-market vehicle. What he's building is actually energy ecosystem on wheels, something that transforms the car into an active part of the city's electrical infrastructure. And all of this is only possible thanks to the fusion with the aluminum ion battery, which offers a flexibility of use never before seen in any other automotive platform. The feature that draws the most attention in this new concept is the ability to charge and discharge energy at very high speed without compromising battery life. This speed opens doors to applications far beyond mobility. With the right system, Model 2 can transform into a domestic energy storage unit, powering a home during power outages or peak times, or even returning energy to the city's grid when it needs it most. This is what's known as V2G, vehicle to grid, finally being taken seriously with scale and practicality. And it's not just a laboratory theory. According to McKinsey estimates, an urban fleet of electric vehicles like the Model 2 with V2G support could stabilize up to 12% of the energy demand of cities at critical times. This represents a revolution in the way we think about balancing electrical loads. The car, which was previously only an energy consumer, now also becomes a supplier, an active node of the power grid, acting as a buffer in increasingly overloaded and decentralized systems. Another direct impact is on the change in driver behavior. For years, electric car owners were conditioned to carefully plan each charge as charging times were long and often uncomfortable. Now, with a full charge completed in just 10 minutes, this routine changes completely. Recharging the car becomes as casual as ever. Charge your cell phone. It's a psychological shift that facilitates mass adoption, reduces range anxiety, and transforms the way people relate to their vehicles. This practicality also ensures the Model 2 performs exceptionally well in any climate. While vehicles with lithium batteries struggle in extreme temperatures, requiring complex cooling or heating systems, Tesla's new system operates smoothly from 50 degree to 180 degrees. This reduces costs, weight, and mechanical complexity, while also allowing the car to operate with the same efficiency from Montreal to Dubai, passing through tropical or desert regions without losing performance. And this detail is more important than it seems. For a global fleet of electric cars to truly function, it's important to ensure the vehicle is reliable in any corner of the planet without relying on regional adaptations. The Model 2 delivers exactly that, a car that works equally well in any environment, making it a global and versatile solution, ready for autonomous fleets, robo-taxis, and decentralized logistics systems a single design with universal application. Speaking of fleets, this technology is perfect for companies that operate vehicles continuously, 